We good back there? Okay. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, this is the 2015 winter meetings for the Red Dogs. I am Rick Franceschino, starting left fielder and the voice of the Red Dogs. I am brought to you by our first baseman, John Tamino, our second baseman, Brian Spahalski, our utility player and moral support, Matt Zimmer, and our starting right center fielder, Roy Franceschino. Um, a big announcement coming from the Red Dogs. All of us have signed multi-year deals. The original Red Dogs will be staying original Red Dogs for several more years for an undisclosed amount. So if we want, gentlemen. Still feels good. Oh, it feels great. Right now. Oh, it fits. You love it. Feels, still feels really good. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ugh. So um, we we all signed multi-year deals uh, from Mr. Pickham, the president himself. He uh, was quoted saying, "I want the original Red Dogs to stay original Red Dogs for life, uh, with the exception of his son James Pickham. Uh, he feels that James Pickham still has more to prove. So unfortunately, James Pickham, one of the original Red Dogs, will not be receiving a contract extension as of yet, like we have today." Uh, I'm going to leave it up now. We're going to have each player come up here and say a few words on the recent signing. Uh, John Tomato, you can kick it off first. Well, oh, thank you. All right. Feels good. Feels good. Uh, I just want to, first of all, thank uh, the president, uh, Mr. Pickham, on this signing. Uh, you know, I've put in the hours and the work, and uh, it's starting to pay off. We've got two championships. We want to keep more going. We're looking to the future, and, uh, you know, that's about it. I want to thank my teammates. We're all close. We all made terrific signings. So it's been a great, it's been a great winter. I want to start off the same way. Just thank you, Mr. Pickham, for this opportunity again. Uh, it just feels great to have this jersey on. Um, I think all these guys can agree with me. Just as a team together, everybody. We all do it together, and to be together is just a great feeling. Woo! This feels great. Uh, Mr. Pickham, thank you for that $8.3 million. Woo! Ow! Love that money. Um, you know, I'm just here to get it done and support the team and uh, come in whenever needed, and I'm going to keep that up this year. Thank you. So again, um, as you guys all heard, I'd just like to thank Mr. Pickham. Um, you know, it's been um, just a great experience working for this organization these past five, six years. Um, you know, the city's really embraced me and, and these guys next to me on each side. Um, and it's, it's just been an amazing experience. Um, we got two belts, you know, under us um, and we're looking for, for many more. So uh, thank you guys and look forward to um, some more championships down the road. Thanks. Uh, it, it's been an honor to be a Red Dog uh, for going on uh, six years now. Um, it's been a long road to get here, and it finally feels good to uh, have some hardware with us, winning two championships in the 2015 calendar year. Uh, no team has done it before, and I'm honored to be a part of that 2015 team, te team in that season. Uh, I really went, hope that we can win some more championships in the future, not only for us and the guys standing beside me, uh, but for you, for you, the Red Dog Nation as well. Um, historic signing by Mr. Pickham. It's been a great ride so far, and I can't wait to all the years to come. Uh, just a classy organization from top to bottom. Um, I, I'm beyond thrilled to be a Red Dog for, for life. Um, and now we're going to open up to some questions from the press. Uh, I think, uh, Bob, back there, we can go to you first. Yeah, thanks, Bob, for the question. So, um, you know, I've criticized Dougie Lammy, our, our manager, um, you know, this earlier this season, and I do stand by, you know, those statements and those comments I made. Um, you know, I just don't think he's the right manager for this club. Um, he's just too passive. You know, I think this has uh, been a player's uh, one championship these last uh, two years, and, uh, you know, I, I think it's time for uh, a different... Uh, change so um, yes I do stand by those comments you know so um, 
you know, that's that's the way I see it. So, yeah. So next question. Yeah. Uh, good question there, Bob. Um, Tim, I see t I see Timmy from the Sun Times. Uh, you can go ahead. Yeah. Tim, how's the kids? Good. Good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, good question. Uh, you know, as to whether or not we are going to have any rust coming on in the off season, uh, you know, because of the championships, uh, I would have to say no. Uh, you know, we won one in the summer league, and it's a much shorter break. But uh, you know, we went right back to work in the fall league, and we did it again. Uh, you know, the boys are getting in shape. I know that for sure. Uh, Weimer's in California, I believe, cutting down a redwood with his bare hands. Um, that's his routine, and you know we're all doing what we have to do to get ready for 2016. Uh, we can go to Melissa from the Orland Park Prairie. I, uh, Melissa, um, you said that the fight that we were involved in um, in the fall league, I think it's a team that brought us all together, um, kind of gave us a bigger, uh, a bigger goal. Yeah, it was a championship, but then also we wanted to prove redemption on those guys that we don't have to play dirty, we don't have to cheat to win, we can win the right way. All right, now we're going to go to Jason, uh, all the way in the back there from the Herald. Jason, you're up. Speak up a little more, Jason. Okay. Yeah, can we get a mic on him? I, okay. I'm having a hard time. I can't, yeah, I can't hear what he's saying. All right. Well, all right. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I, I do think I deserve this lucrative contract that I just got, even though I'm not a starting player. Uh, you know, I, I go out there, I bust my hump, and, uh, you know, it, it shows. I, uh, I went on a real hot streak in the fall, and then it led us right to our second championship in one year. So that's a, it's an absolutely absurd question. Of course I deserve this money. All right. Uh, yeah, Mikey, you're up. Yeah, I, I think I could answer that. Um, yeah, no, uh, the one thing the Red Dogs haven't done is, is the perfect season, like you said. Uh, I think that's what we're going to try to strive to do now. Uh, granted, we've won two championships now. I see more championships in our future. But I think what we're really trying to do is, is a, achieve perfection, uh, quite frankly. We had this streak for the past you know, year and a half, um, both of which our, lot, our most recent losses were due to illegal bats. So I feel that the next thing the Red Dogs have to do to prove that they are the best is a perfect season. And, uh, and that's what I, I plan on doing, and I think that's what the guys next to me are going to plan on doing for the future is, is perfection. All right, Cindy, uh, you're up next. You know, Cindy, I, I don't think the Red Dogs should stoop to anybody else's level using the wheel bats. If they have, if the Chiefs try to beat us, then so be it. I mean, like Rick said, we've beaten teams before, um, and they've been cheating, and then we've lost when they have also been cheating, but we've called them out on it ultimately, and then we've beaten them. So we don't think we need to cheat to win. And, and can I add, you know, I think, and I think that question really needs to be directed to the commissioner of the league. Uh, more than this team. Mm -hmm. You know, the league has been under mm -hmm. some, some controversy this year. Um, hopefully those get straightened out and uh, the rules get, in, get enforced and teams like the Red Dogs that play by the rules, um, you know, will continue to prove themselves year in and year out. Yeah, the responsibility does not fall on the Red Dogs to police this league. Uh, we just we just play the right way and uh, then we win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Frank, uh, you can go. Yeah, I, I still can't. I'm having a hard time hearing, guys. Uh, can we? Thank you. Okay. I think he's talking about about the older guys. Well, I can I can answer that. You yeah. know, considering I'm one of the veterans, uh, you know, myself, Weimer, Dougie, you know, we're all getting up there in age a little bit. And uh, like I said, that is a concern. Um, but as I mentioned before, because of our training regimen, um, you know, we're going to be ready to go. Uh, you know, it may take us a little longer to get up uh, each morning, but when it comes game time, we're ready to play. Yeah, Mary from the USA Today. I, th I think Rick can answer that question for us. Yeah, Mary. Um, you know, I'm not really worried about the other teams in the league. Um, I'm just worried about ourselves. Um, you know, obviously we're going to probably go into next year as the favorites again. Um, but, you know, we're not really worried about the other teams or what the Naturals are doing. Um, but any other teams are just worried about ourselves, um, doing what we need to do, what we need to take care of in our off-season, our conditioning, and our dieting. Um, and staying out of trouble, you know. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe, and staying I mean, healthy, maybe, right? Staying <laughs> healthy, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, of all people, so, right, right. Uh, yeah, we have time for one last question. Uh, Nick, we'll go out to you in the back there. You know, Nick, good question. Um, I don't think that I get any special treatment from Doug. I mean, yeah, we're family, but, you know, every game, Doug has come up to me and told me, you know, hey, you. Stop. If you keep playing this poorly, I'm going to move you down. 
Um, we'll keep doing this good, you know, great job. Um, I don't think he keeps me the in the lineup, you know, doing bad or good, um, just consistency is what it is. Mm -hmm. All right, and that, that's going to conclude our press conference for today. Um, you can look forward to us in, coming in the fall when we start the 2016 campaign, defending our most recent championships in the 2015 Summer League and the 2015 Fall League. Uh, we look to see you guys there, and hopefully you can check us out at, at C5 when we uh, start kick off our 2016 season. Uh, thanks for your time, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you guys in the future. Thank you. Thank you.